Hello, I'm Keith McIntosh, and I'm here to talk about work as an agent for social change. There's a parable in a book I once read, it's something like, if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach a man to fish, he'll eat forever. Almost true. What if uh, there aren't any fish to catch? What if, what if he's standing in the middle of the short grass prairie? Or in Vancouver's downtown east side? Or rural Nova Scotia? Or northern Canada? To make a real social impact, what you do has to be sustainable. Uh, philanthropy, sorry Angela, isn't, isn't alone isn't enough. Tra training someone and then turning them out into the same world that they came from to make a living isn't enough either. We have to provide a way to find the fish, we have to get that fish to market, or we have to bring the market to the fish. In 2015, I was lucky enough to be part of the Canadian, or the Governor General's Canadian Leadership Conference, which is a uh, an event that brings 250 people from all across Canada together, mostly type A personalities, smashes them together for two weeks to think about, to learn about Canada, to think about some of the challenges and to try and come up with some, some solutions. There were a few issues on my mind in that con coming out of that conference. The, f the Truth and Reconciliation re Report was released. It brought the very real issues facing First Nations, Métis and Inuit peoples of Canada to the, to the attention of all Canadians. And that report highlighted corporate Canada's responsibility to help. At the same time, in the Maritimes, and in Brunswick in particular, we had and have an aging, shrinking, migrating population. We have increasing healthcare costs, a decreasing workforce, and ever-growing deficit. And the issue that was, uh, had most impact on me at that time was that we, in the IT industry, we have more jobs and we have people to, to fill them. IT jobs are re really unique. They're not tied to a physical location. They can and will go wherever the workers are. So these are the problems I was thinking about, and I realized that I had a solution. The fastest growing demographic in Canada right now is young Indigenous people, exactly the people that we need in IT careers. The majority want to stay in their communities, and there are 15 First Nations in New Brunswick. But they're not entering the IT workforce. What are the barriers that keep that from happen happening? Well, education is one. So we created a training course that would prepare them for entering the workforce. We made it short enough that they could see the end. We made it the entry requirements as achievable as possible, to be as inclusive as possible. We made the course directly applicable to the work that my company does, which is software testing. Another barrier I've, I've found was, is location. Many indigenous communities in Canada are not closer, ma close to major urban centers. And like many of us, indigenous people do not want to leave the communities that they grew up in. Family connections are very, very important. So we offered the course in or near their communities. A third barrier we found is employment. How do you get a job if it is located in a city far from home? How do you get a job if you have, have to compete as a complete outsider in a world with people who have more experience and more education and more connections? A very, a very good friend of mine, a member of the Pasqua First Nation in Saskatchewan, told me a story of walking down a city street thinking he should apply for a job in one of the great tall buildings with the big signs with the famous, company, famous companies on top. And, but he didn't know anyone who worked there. No one who looked like him had ever worked there. How could he possibly work there? So we created a company that would hire the graduates and give them their first full-time employment in IT. That company is called Plato Testing, and it tests software for companies around the world. LinkedIn in Los Angeles, Intuition Publishing in Dublin, Ireland, Suncor in Calgary. The work can come from anywhere, and it can be done anywhere that there is an internet connection. It is being done in rural New Brunswick and downtown Vancouver right now. So now, we have people working, full-time, in professional jobs. What does that change? For the employees, it gives stability. It allows them to stop worrying about tomorrow's meal and start thinking about a plan for the future. For their communities, it brings new money into the community and the economy of that community. But all, more importantly, it provides visible success stories and role models for their youth. And for the youth of the, those communities, it provides hope. It provides incentive to stay in school and provides options. 
And for Plato, it provides a workforce to produce necessary and valuable work product and to grow a profitable software testing company. I believe that I can create a thousand jobs testing software in Canada. There are many other opportunities in IT in things like call centers, data migration, content validation. There are many entry level, high volume tasks in IT that are suitable for this type of a, a company endeavor. If Amazon sets up its new headquarters here in Halifax area, there'll be more. I chose, I chose to focus on indigenous Canadians and, and, and helping them, helping to solve some of their challenges. But the concept can be applied to any marginalized community. I've been approached by an organization representing unemployed coal miners in West Virginia, and another working with inner city youth in New York City. There's an entrepreneur that I know in San Francisco who's teaching women in Africa and South America to do data entry tasks. And then she's bringing work from Amazon and eBay and Microsoft to those villages in, in, in Africa and South America. I believe in order to change people's lives, you need to do more than give charity dollars. You need to create good outcomes and, and you need to change the circumstances. You need to give opportunity and you have to help people take advantage of that opportunity. Albert Einstein said we cannot solve our problems with the same thing we use when we create them. There are many government organizations and programs that will give money for training and I say thank you for that. And there are many companies offer to sponsor courses and mentor our students and I say thank you for that. But it's not enough. We have to fundamentally change the approach. I truly believe that Corporate Canada takes the responsibility to help in, in, with the truth and reconciliation re requests seriously. But I don't, they don't know how to engage. To this, I say, let me help you. Let me give you the opportunity and let me help you take advantage of that opportunity, Corporate Canada. What we really need is work. Real work that needs to be done. We need you to carve out a bit of work that might otherwise go offshore or to a large corporation and give it to people who just need a chance. Honest pay for honest work brings dignity and pride. And dignity and pride changes lives. So give work. Thank you.